starting five today. You've got a guy in Ferran Hunt. He's averaging better than eight boards per game. And that's that, that's not how this team wants to start the game, and not how they started against Eastern Illinois. Is off the mark. 6'4", 180 pounds, junior. Nice touch on have a point. Second one's good. Veteran official of 30 plus years. He did my games. I know. Did he have your number? <laughs> you were talking before the game? Yeah. He good did, shot. He did my Way out of control. But it worked out in the end. I mean, Bandamel just driving to the hole with wreck. That's all you're going to do. So the scoreboard went to 13, but then that three-point shot was determined to be after the buzzer. And there's a reach in. And Makoji had the right idea. That was to foul the guy, foul Bandamel coming down the court before he'd wrap him up and tackle him like you're playing free safety. Looking to regain the lead for the first time since the opening 97. I think Dayton, these players have accepted the challenge and done a much better job. Seven-point lead, but there's oh. Luke for Bandamel and the two. Time to get a timeout. Shagwa over to the right side. There's Davis. Nearly stolen. Bandamel for three. Got it. Defense and really good minutes. Rebounding the basketball. Ten points. Now the largest lead of the game for either team. Flyers up 40-30. SMU came in having scored 90-plus in their first three games. It's a nice little shot. So a chance for SMU to get themselves a little bit closer. Davis, left side of the lane. Bandamel is fouled. Oh, by Ibby Watson, but Bandamel has really been the guy with Kendrick Davis not really a factor. And Farron coming in averaging 15 points and plus eight, almost, um, almost not. It's a mental toughness we're talking about. Who's going to have be able to do that consistently down the stretch? Perhaps one too many from Shagwa. That three-point field goal attempt came up short, but a good rebound. Boy, unable to convert the shot, but the or at least fouled enough. Guys and Bandamel, Thick McNeil could throw Davidson. I mean, those guys have been really, really active, and that's brought the big guys into the game to grab the lead. Need some more of that Dayton defense down here. 110 remaining. Just like the last possession. McNeil, opposite side, rotated out top. Inside the three-point arc, above the free throw line, and drained. Seven seconds, full court pressure from Dayton. And then they back off. Vandermel is going to try and go, puts it up. And oh. it's in at the buzzer. Oh. 